Hi everyone, I'm back and book review is also back. So today we're reviewing V's new book called Empowered and special thanks to Penguin's publisher for sending me this advanced copy so I can review V's book. So on with the video. Right, so judging on the appearance, I absolutely love it because my favorite color is yellow and she used yellow so this is already like full marks from me and the full name is empowered live your life with passion and purpose and like we know that v is best friends with malala but like even malala is transformative so it's definitely worth a read so a little background information on how i knew v so i actually know um her a long time ago but i didn't really watch her videos a lot like I know she's from Harvard she studied from Oxford she's um, top-notch student a really hardworking student as well and that was basically it like my knowledge of her was it until recently I was having an essay crisis myself and I started watching her essay crisis videos and it was just entertaining but at the same time it calms me and I felt like I had a friend who was going through the same phase as I am and I started looking more into these videos and I realized she was writing a book and as she finished actually but then it's coming out on December 2nd so I really really want to read her book and this book is actually amazing because it really is empowering just like the title promised so this book talks a lot about V's background and I never knew V came from an underprivileged family and just seeing her write so much of raw emotions and so many real stories and um, you know genuine storylines and genuine um, sentiments just made me feel feel like I know her in person and me reading this book felt like it made me feel I've taken a lot of things for granted because when I was doing my A-levels um, I just had to care about studies like I just had to care about studying and then I was groaning about it every day too but then like reading about this learning that V had to deal with a lot of stuff at the same time so she had to deal with her grades and at the same time she was working part-time at McDonald's and then she was also dealing with financial instability and also bullying and also racism it just makes me feel like I just have one thing on my hands and I already took this for granted so it really made me realize how lucky I was and made me learn more about expressing gratitude and it was just super eye-opening and super you know inspiring for me and the way that V with so little resources was able to achieve that much with her determination and willpower is just it's just like she is a role model that all of us should learn from and apart from you know just gaining an in, um, access into the this like top-notch university world she actually does a lot of community work she has like a passion for um, ending child marriages um, and also uh, making sure all girls have access equal access to education and she does a lot of this stuff for the community as well and I just really I'm really re I really really do admire this person a lot after reading this book because it just makes me feel so empowered really because I feel like I actually have all this time and all these resources but I'm not making the best use of it and while V with her limited resources and everything is able to be so inspiring and have done so much for the community as well in the book she talks about um, rejection um, and then how she deals with rejection she talks about money she talks about um, being bullied but one of the major themes she did talk about oh my god my hair was imposter syndrome and she felt like she didn't deserve all these things even though she does she 100 does because she has worked so hard for it and she has endured so much but imposter syndrome kicks in and she always feels like 
what if I don't belong here? But then that is when she, the amazing support system she has comes into play because her mom, her friends, her sister are just so good. Like they were incredibly supportive of her and her best friends when Malala, I read like in the in the end, I think it's like an acknowledgement or appreciation about how we had this idea of writing this book and Malala was so supportive from the very beginning and then she was there with V when she had to do all-nighters doing proofreads and it's just we need to find a support system like that when we go through you know life have people by our side have people we can confide um, into but we have to be very conscious and very um, careful about our choices as well and be straightforward that's what she said as well when dealing with you know relationship problems whether it's like romantic relationships or friendships or like family relationships be straightforward call people out when they're stepping on your boundaries and if a relationship is too toxic for you and it's impeding on your growth or overall you know um, life journey then don't be afraid to call it quits because it's better for both you and the other person as well and then there's this part of talking about how she struggled with money and how like that part was really so inspiring because so many times we take a lot of this financial stability for granted uh, when we just have to do studying or just do other stuff but then there are people actually struggling there to just provide food on their plates and she talks about how amazing her mother is how she works two jobs or um uh, like over um, at more hours just to ensure that V and her sister has like a decent size uniform so she doesn't get laughed at and how her mother taught her the value of money and taught her how to manage her own money which is also very very important like she credits her mother a lot in this book and I can f see why because her mother is an incredible woman yeah and then her sister was incredibly supportive as well so this book is not like um, I don't think I should be comparing these two books but these are just the two youtuber study tuber books I've read so um, Anjaya Jade's book so it's very different because Anjaya Jade's book is more about providing techniques on studying but this one is about V's life journey and how she uses her experience to inspire others and really it is inspiring I did not know so um, so much about her background and everything before and I just saw this incredible woman and but now that I've learned more about her I I'm I admire her so so much because with the limited resources like there was this quote in the book that her mother told her like um, with these little resources you can already achieve this much imagine if you have those like when V was jealous or like when V was um, thinking oh I don't have this or um, I want that why, or, or why don't I have that and felt really bad about herself her mother used to tell her this phrase and I find that really really inspiring as well because we always think oh why do people have that and I don't have that we always think like people are more lucky than we are but we don't we should like take in and also be appreciative of what we have and use our resources now and try to achieve the best out of it and also the importance of finding passion she mentioned finding something you love is is very important and she talked about how her love for fighting for girls um, equal access to education also ending child marriage back in Zimbabwe um, actually fuels her a lot because when she thinks about why the these people have access she feels very angry and that's actually a sign of something you're passionate about and that's the route that she goes down and she has achieved so so much and this book just it's definitely worth a read it's it's not long it's like um around 200 pages but the size is really tiny so i would definitely recommend it um to give a read and i think 
V's journey. It kind of reminds me of this movie, and uh, but that movie is also based on like a real life experience. It's called Homeless to Harvard, but that one is um, a more extreme case because um, I don't remember the main character's name, but the girl, his parents were like drug addicts, and she was homeless, and then yeah, she basically applied for everything on her own, and then she also did like a, a job. But then she was studying while the, at the job, and then she got into Harvard in the end. Um, I think V's um, experience was not as extreme as um, the other girls, but like it was, it, it there was a certain relevance to it, like being in a really underprivileged or terrible condition. But then you work with the resources you have, and your determination, and willpower, and the support of your loved ones and you pave a road for yourself and also pay it back to the community and that's just super super inspiring so do give it a read it will um inspire you and give you a new outlook on life really true and um i hope you like this review and check out my other reviews check out the the review that i did of jade's book as well if you like um you would like some advice or reviews on study tubers books and i'll see you in the next video bye